Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is my name is Sirajo of Movie Musings, and today I'll be reviewing Tron Legacy, <clears throat> directed by Joseph Kosinski and starring Jeff Bridges, Gary Hedlund, Olivia Wilde, Bruce Boxlinger, and Michael Sheen. But official synopsis is Tron Legacy is a high tech 3D adventure set in a digital world that's unlike anything ever captured on the big screen. Sam Flynn, the tech-savvy 27-year-old son of Kevin Flynn, looks into his father's disappearance and finds himself pulled into the digital world of Tron, where his father has been living for 25 years. Along with Kevin's loyal confidant, Cora, father and son embark on a life-and-death journey of escape across a visually stunning cyber universe that has become far more advanced and exceedingly dangerous. So, initially when I saw the trailer for the film, I was like, uh, I thought it was going to be a weak film. I didn't think it was going to have, like, that great of uh, um, depth or content to it. But actually, the movie is, um, it's a good, it's a great story. Um, the, the, the illuminated bodysuits that the characters wore, the neon lights type situation things, gave it a real, um, edge for a 3D movie and, um, and, uh, I would say that the plot is actually really interesting. Uh, it's a character he's stuck in the digital world, and his endeavor was to create, solve humanity's solutions first within the digital world and bring that back into the real world. And unfortunately, he was hindered from doing such because his alter ego in which he created um, inhibited him from re-entering the real world. So his son goes on a quest to save his father, uh, pretty much learns the 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 purpose of it and within this digital world they have they find these individuals that have pretty much the perfect DNA the, gen the genetic cure for all human ailments and his goal is to bring those people back into the real world and um, I would say yeah the story was a really it was a good story actually um, the visuals was amazing I really enjoyed the visuals the way that the the light streams were used as a um, a way of uh, destroying and opponents in the games um, it kind of reminded me of a TV show I used to watch in my childhood called VR Troopers in which uh, these three brothers would play specific instruments that would allow them to enter the computer world in which they would battle viruses of viruses and um to me that's what um uh kevin's flynn uh, alter ego um clue um to me that's what it was he was kind of like the dark version of himself kind of like the virus of himself uh with a supernatural agenda for perfection and um and Kevin Flynn had to combat that, obviously. So, uh, yeah, overall, I would actually give the movie an uh, a A, I would say, actually, because it was a good story. The visuals was really amazing. And the soundtrack. Actually, I love the soundtrack. The soundtrack is actually what convinced me to see it. Daft Funk produced the soundtrack, and I really, really enjoyed it. And uh, it got me so pumped, like, so pumped to see the movie. So I saw it, and uh, I enjoyed it. The story was great. The acting was great. And uh, the visuals m were magnificent. So thank you for listening to us here at Movie Musings. And uh, please return again. Bye.